And I'm sure later this evening we'll all drink a glass to toast the dissolution of the Directors Guild of America. Um, <laughs> damn them. We now come to the Academy's highest honour, the Fellowship. To make the announcement, two of this country and the world's finest actresses who have both worked with the recipient and who are both recently in Paddington. Though fortunately they were able to jump from the train into a taxi and get here on time. Please clap your feet and stamp your hands for Imelda Staunton and Sally Hawkins. <laughs> That's the closest I'm going to get to working with Tom Cruise. <laughs> um, uh, Sally and I are delighted to be presenting this award uh, because the person receiving it is someone to whom we both owe a great deal. He is a unique, inspirational and fiercely independent filmmaker who for over 40 years has devised and directed a tremendous range of iconic films and performances. As I said, he is unique and this is mainly because he never works from a script. He and his actors prepare, research, create and develop characters which he then shapes into his stories. His method is organic, forensic, uncompromising, bold. And speaking from personal experience, it is utterly thrilling. He deals with the very essence of who we are and what we feel. He shows how extraordinary, ordinary lives can be. And like many of his characters who often struggle to express inexpressible feelings, to quote, words are important, but rarely enough, I feel very much the same here, for I don't know where I'd be without him. He's a true visionary. He has carved his own path. He pushes people beyond themselves and their perceived limitations. And what he asks of his actors, crew, producers all, he only demands the same of himself, if not more so. And finally, to quote the great man, I am old enough to have friends and contemporaries who have long since retired, and that's their prerogative. Enough is enough, but it doesn't mean a thing to me. So, you know, I just have to keep on working. And I think I speak for many when I say, well, thank goodness for that. So, let's take a look at some of that work. I'm not just a wanker, you know? I could teach you things you never even dreamed of. Oh, naughty. I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose on a clear day you can see the class struggle from here. Hello, sweetheart. All right. Do you want to fight? Oh! All men are bastards. Oh, he's not violent. He's just a bit nasty. <laughs> You number me with a kid, you won't know what sits you. I'll make your life shit! You already do! Oh, you don't do anymore! The more I see of men, the more I admire dogs. We're all in pain. Why can't we share our pain?
This is very nice indeed. <laughs> and I've never appeared on this stage before. How lucky we all are to happen to have been born in this magical age of cinema. And what a stimulating evening we've had celebrating this wonderful, diverse medium. To be able to capture life and to share it with audiences, not to mention the joy of the camera, of sound and the craft and technology. It is glorious, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I know some people expect me to be rude this evening. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but you're in for a disappointment. Uh, to speak plainly, we are delighted and grateful that our film had four nominations tonight. Uh, but personally, I don't mind a bit that there were none others. You, BAFTA, BAFTA are a democratic... I said, you know, I said BAFTA, which rhymes with DAFTA. Um, <laughs> you, BAFTA, are a democratic gang, and your taste is your prerogative. What is important to me is that you have awarded me this fellowship, for which I am truly grateful. And for me, this is a sign of your respect for an offbeat alternative, original, idiosyncratic, personal kind of popular cinema. <laughs> an independent cinema. What is an independent film? It is a film that has been made free from all censorship or interference by governments, backers, producers, script editors, or committees of any kind. It is a film made with, some gen with the same genuine freedom as enjoyed by novelists, dramatists, poets, painters, sculptors, composers, songwriters, and other artists. As chairman of the London Film School, one of the great joys in my life is to savour regularly the unfettered independence, freshness, and originality of our graduate films. Pure independent cinema by the filmmakers of the future. It's great to share this stage with a number of truly independent films, but especially tonight's winning film, Boyhood, a definitive independent film for which Dick Linklater and his team can be justly proud. I've been extraordinarily lucky, uh, lucky over the years. I have made 20 full-length films, all starting without a script, and none of them has ever been interfered with by anybody at any time. Had that not been the case, I wouldn't be standing here now. So thank you. Thank you, BAFTA, for this great honour. And thank you to everybody I have ever worked with on both sides of the camera, in production and in post-production. Not least my producers, especially the late, great, much missed Simon Channing Williams. <laughs> Many times we've gone to potential backers and we've said, there's no script, no story, no casting, we can't tell you what it's about. Just give us the money. <laughs> and either they've said, great, here's the dosh, make the film. Or they've told us to get lost. So, to those backers who said yes, including those administrating lottery money, a big, loving thank you. But to those boneheads, philistines, <laughs> un uninspired skinflints who said no, a big thank you to you too. For had you said yes, you'd have interfered with the movie, insisted on inappropriate casting, changed the story, you'd have screwed up the editing, and generally made a pig's ear of the whole thing. <laughs> so, So, to you lot, 
Thank you for keeping away, and may you all rot in hell. (laughs) 